Welcome back to Chowder Talk. As always, I'm a horrendous platypus. Please welcome my next guest, the hat from Uncle Buck. America, America. Hat, hey, thanks for coming on. I know your stepmother just passed away, so I appreciate it. Not a problem. How you doing with everything? A little rough, but I'm okay. Her funeral was earlier today. I gave her a eulogy. Thank you all for coming. Um, I can't believe Deb is gone. Deb was a great woman. Probably the best stepmother you could ask for. Uh, I remember when she first came into my life. I was in high school. My parents recently divorced, and my father introduced me to his new fiance. Mm -hmm. I liked her right away. She was gorgeous, smart, kind, had just the right amount of sass, uh, to be honest, I don't think my father knew what he had. Sometimes Deb would come home after the gym and want to have sex, but he'd refuse. I, I couldn't believe he would say no. I mean, even if it smelled like hot garbage, I would have eaten that puss. Oh. I would have licked it clean. Deb was the hottest woman I've ever seen in my life. Uh, in, in fact, uh, I would take days out of school just to masturbate to her. And she was with my father, not me. So he'd be angry masturbating, hitting my dick with a shoe until I came. My masturbation record is nine times in one day, and Deb had a huge part in that. I mean, let's be honest, she was an inspiration to us all. In fact, when I was at her coffin earlier, I, I took a peek uh, under her clothes and still looking good. We're going to beat that record of nine tonight, Deb. <coughs> Pardon me. If you knew Deb, you knew she was a huge John Candy fan. And in closing, I wanted to share a poem that I never got a chance to share with her. And it uses John Candy movie references to explain the sweet love that I wish we had made. It's called uh, John Candy in My Pocket. <clears throat> Uncle Buck, don't you want to fuck step mommy? No, she don't. She really don't. Just like Audrey, too. You know what else she can do? Chew meat, salami, deep throat, motorboat. Now put your hands in my pocket and get some John Candy. It's cool I got some runnings down my leg from a handy. Hand in my pocket and get some John Candy. Fist, four fingers in, add the thumb. Make my asshole big as John Candy. Who's Harry Crumb? Yum, 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 like Canadian bacon. Blood stripes in my underwear is what you be making. We're taking a vacation to the great outdoors. Big Bear chase me as I break down your doors. Splash in your gash. Brewster's million spending cash. I'll be the rookie of the year in your rear when I throw it in fast. On your knees at ludicrous speed. Go deep space balls and I make you barf. You see, I'm only lonely and I'm home alone. You do a little polka and a rusty trombone. <laughs> Uncle Buck, don't you want to fuck step mommy? <laughs> Miss you, Deb. I, um, uh, I, um, thought being in a John Candy movie would have made her love me, but <laughs> it's going to be all right, Hat. America, America. Folks, we're going to take a quick break and let Hat have a moment. We'll be right back. 